Hey, hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show, and welcome to yet another Top 5. Last Top 5, I counted down my 5 favorite shotguns from video games. And while shotguns are a fan favorite, people who love to get up close and personal. However, there are some people, actually many people, almost all people, yeah, all people love assault rifles. The rifle. If your video game has guns in it, the rifle is a requirement. And with good reason. An assault rifle can be the most useful, the most manageable, the most operable, the most wanted, the most useful and complete weapon in a video game. Especially shooters. And here on this top five, we are counting down my favorite, my five favorite rifles from video games of all time. So, sit back. Relax, load a fresh magazine, aim down your sights, and behold my top five favorite rifles in video gaming. Number 5, R101C Carbine Titanfall. This is what rifles, assault rifles in video games should strive for. To be as perfect, to be as useful, to be as effective, and to be both an easy to use weapon and one, no matter what skill level you are at, can be extremely effective against all variety of enemies in the game. AKA, the R101C Carbine in Titanfall is a really, really damn good gun. The Carbine is so good, it makes sense not to have any other automatic rifles in the game. Because they would pale. They would simply pale in comparison to the Carbine. It is so good. It is so efficient and effective and easy to use, but deadly as all hell. The rifle is effective at all ranges. Short ranges, medium ranges, and surprisingly, very surprisingly, the gun is also very good at long ranges, and can even, even surpass a sniper rifle. The gun's rate of fire is excellent. The gun has just the right magazine size. Not too much, not too little. And the damage, the damage this thing does. It gives every player in the game the opportunity to play well and be a badass with this rifle. Along with all that, the carbine just it looks good. It has a solid, eye-catching, colorful, well-detailed design. It's the perfect blend of modern-day design for assault rifles and the sci-fi imagination of future assault rifles. It's the perfect combination. The R101C Carbine from Titanfall is one of the best assault rifles out there. The only reason it's not higher on this list, it's because I personally like the following assault rifles more but I cannot deny the absolute effectiveness of the R-101C Carbine. <laughs> Number 4, Soma Warframe. Let me get this out of the way right now. The Soma is the most unique, creatively designed assault rifle I have ever seen in any game ever. The design of this thing is jaw-dropping. It's so artistic and imaginative and creative and I freaking love the design of the Soma. From barrel to stock and especially the magazine, I love the look of the Soma. But as I have said before, it's a gun. And how good the gun looks doesn't matter as much as how the gun plays. Lucky for you, the Soma is a high-tier, top-ranking assault rifle in Warframe. And for one damn good reason. The fire rate on this gun is insane. The rate of fire on the Soma is one of the highest, if not the highest, in the entire game. By the time you've pulled the trigger and finished pulling the trigger, before you know it, 
you'll have a completely empty magazine and a room full of dead Grenier corpus. And surprisingly, for a gun with such a high rate of fire, the accuracy on the Soma is surprisingly very solid. Though with such a high rate of fire, there does come the problem of ammo consumption, and the Soma will eat up a huge chunk of your ammo, unless you have some specific mods, or are lucky and all the enemies you kill happen to drop rifle ammo. And that is the only slight flaw with the Soma, is how quickly you can run out of ammo with the damn thing. But hey, compare the positives of this weapon to the negatives. It has a stellar, creative, imaginative design. It has a crap ton of ammo. It has an amazing super fast rate of fire, it does good damage, it does good accuracy with little recoil, surprisingly. And what's the negatives? You can run out of ammo quickly if you're not too careful or managing it. So yeah, comparing positives to negatives, I would say the Soma from Warframe is a simply excellent assault rifle and an awesome awesome creative design for one. Definitely a must pick up weapon in the game. Number 3, Harrier, Mass Effect Free. Surprisingly, while making this video, I realized that the Harrier is remarkably similar to the Soma from Warframe. It has a great rate of fire, great damage, good accuracy with little recoil, but you can run out of ammo quickly if you're not managing it well, or didn't bring proper upgrades or mods. But what makes the Harrier better than the Soma, in my opinion? Simple. Damage, effectiveness, and multi-usage. Where other assault rifles, you usually want to stick them to a certain class. Keep the assault rifle with a certain class with a certain loadup, built around perhaps mid-range to short-range or even long-range combat. With the Harrier from Mass Effect Free, this assault rifle is so effective and works so well, you can use it on literally every single class in the game and it will be effective simply because the harrier from mass effect this rifle is so good it's so effective it's effective on every enemy in the game it's effective in the hands of each and every class it's effective no matter what modifications or upgrades you put on it a level 1 harrier is just as effective as a level 10 harrier of course, the level 10 Harrier more so. The Harrier also does have its own unique and appealing design. It's a Cerberus rifle with the Cerberus colors, and I must admit the Cerberus colors really match this rifle really well. The white, yellow, and black do have like a perfect combination. So the colors do match with the sci-fi design of this gun, and it does make it appealing to the eye. But you're not going to be using the Harrier for looks. You're going to be using it because it kills everything damn effectively, and because it works so well with every class, with every loadout. Not too many assault rifles can do that, but the Harrier from Mass Effect Free, it damn well can. <laughs> Number 2, Scar Assault Rifle Crisis Trilogy. Now, it is arguable that the other assault rifles in Crisis can do more damage, can be more useful, can be more effective in combat. But here's the thing about the SCAR assault rifle, to me at least. First off, it is the cover boy weapon for the Crisis series. On the back of the boxes, in the screenshots, you see, no matter who the nanosuit soldier is, they always have a SCAR assault rifle. And with good reason. Well, like I said before, the other rifles in the game are arguably more powerful, more effective in combat, and the SCAR, in some sense, does just look like a regular sci-fi-ish assault rifle. But, in my opinion, the SCAR assault rifle is the matching weapon of choice next to the Predator bow from Crisis Free, it is the matching weapon of choice for the Nano Suit. And why is that? Because, just like the Nano Suit, the SCAR Assault Rifle is customizable, it's adaptable, and it's effective. The SCAR Assault Rifle, just like every other weapon in the Crisis Trilogy, can be customized with different attachments on the spot, on the fly. And these different modifications 
amplify, and relate to the nano suit in every way possible. It gives you the options, just like the nano suit does, to play the way you want to play. Do you want to throw a silencer on the scar and play it stealthy? Do you want to add a grenade launcher or an extended magazine and go guns blazing? Do you want to add a sniper scope on it and shoot from afar, or do you want to add a reflex red dot sight and get up close to your opponents? Well, that can be debated about every other weapon in the game, and the, uh, the other assault rifles included, I find that the SCAR assault rifle just best fits the nano suit. It is the matching weapon to the nano suit in terms of adaptability, effectiveness, and customization. So, in a sense, the SCAR Assault Rifle represents the Crisis Trilogy, the video game trilogy itself, as a whole. I think that's a pretty good reason to make the SCAR Assault Rifle my second favorite assault rifle from video gaming. And of course, before I reveal my number one favorite assault rifle from video games, quick little recap. And my number one favorite assault rifle from video gaming is... The Assault Rifle from the Halo series. Now I'm not gonna lie, nostalgia has a big part in this. Halo Combat Evolved was one of the very first first person shooters I ever played, and the Assault Rifle was one of the very first, well, assault rifles I ever used in gaming. And quite frankly, after all these years of playing a variety of first-person shooters and using a variety of assault rifles from a variety of different games, over these past few years, still none of them have felt as good as the assault rifle from Halo, specifically the first Halo. Right off the bat, the assault rifle from Halo just has an amazing, an amazing, solid, memorable, classic sci-fi design. From the hologram bullet counter, to the barrel, to the bullet chamber, to the trigger, to the very stock. The gun is just so masterfully crafted and designed, and it's just such a classical, classical and memorable sci-fi design that I can't help but love the Halo Assault Rifle design. It just, it looks, it looks like, I, I could believe. I could believe that this was the assault rifle in the future. I can believe that this is where technology would take us and this is the kind of rifle that would be used deep in the spacefaring future. But as I've been saying throughout this video, it's a gun and what's most important about the gun is how well it shoots stuff, not how it looks. I cannot lie, the statistics of the assault rifle are perfect. It is the must go-to weapon is one of the most efficient weapons, most powerful weapons, most used, and most loved by players everywhere. The assault rifle just... it's perfect. It is the perfect assault rifle. It does great damage, heavy damage for an assault rifle. It has the perfect amount of ammo so that you're not constantly reloading the weapon. It is the absolute perfect weapon for short range and medium range combat while being somewhat realistic of a rifle as in it's almost effectively useless in long range. Meaning, if you're playing a certain playstyle and you're using this rifle, it forces you to get into the action and not take out guys from afar. It forces you to get into the gunfights. Gunfire from this weapon can wither down shields in a constant barrage, and enemies without shields get chewed up by it. To put it as simply and as bluntly as this, the Halo Assault Rifle, the assault rifle from Halo, is a perfect weapon. There is zero flaws with it. It is effective, it looks good, its statistics are solid, it is effective and useful in every type of combat situation. It does a heavy amount of damage, it has a great amount of ammo supply. 
I cannot speak ill or bad about this weapon. While in other video games there's always a weapon that I don't like or a weapon I think is underpowered or could have been improved, the Halo Assault Rifle is the perfect assault rifle from video gaming, making it my favorite assault rifle of all time from gaming.